How many parts of it close? How many parts? Mahin. Ji, sir. How many parts of it close? Sir, will you say, sir? What kind of closes? How many kinds of closes? Sir, uh, two kinds of sir. Not two, but three. Three kinds. There are three kinds of close. 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 I am going to say something. 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 I am going to say ए दोहा की मारने की सुबाई बस मुझ मुझे आप भूल ले गए सी वेड़ा ए होना हमारे हमारे हेल्प करते हैं ऑनलाइन मैसेज दे से ऑनलाइन मैसेज दे से म्यूट रख हमें म्यूट रख सी फर्स्ट में डिजिटल क्लोज और इंडिपेंडेंट क्लोज जी सर Second name. Can you tell the second name? The close. Do ha. Sir, my first question is, how can we make it easier? Sir, independent close, sir. Independent or mutual close. The same. Oh, sir, sorry, sir. Close. Dependent close. Dependent close, close, sir. Sorry, sir. Dependent close. Subordinate or. Abordinate or dependent close. Dependent close. The mass of the and here a subtle bit of that for me. And the third name? Oh, did they get it? Yeah. Pailosha Shadi. Can you tell me the third name of the close? Anam. Sorry? Okay. Shikhatul Islam. Can you tell me? Yes, sir. Ruha? No, sir. Sir, I cannot remember, sir. Okay. Coordinate close. Our name is Coordinate close. So we find there are three types of close. Principal or independent clause, subordinate or dependent clause, and the third name is coordinate clause. Mm -hmm. What is principal clause? Do you know what is principal clause? Shavi. No, sir. Ismail Hussain Shadi and another Shadi. Mahin. Okay. Principal clause, the clause which contains one subject and a finite verb that can give or express full meaning of the sentence. And if we detach it from the main sentence, it can express its meaning. This is called principal clause or independent clause. It is independent. It is not dependent on others. This is Doha. principal clause. Have a sentence. If you train, they will not go. This is the principal clause. Which is the principal clause?
okay you will not go this is principal clause because if we detach it from the main sentence it can bear a full meaning it is not dependent on the other clause of the sentence for this reason it is called independent clause or principal clause okay yes sir subordinate clause or dependent clause the clause which is dependent on others to express its meaning this is called this is called subordinate clause obviously it is not independent it is dependent on other clause that means it depends on principal clause that is have you any problem no sir okay it trends if you write this sentence in another place it trends and do not इंडिपेन्डेंट Independent, independent on other clause that means principal clause. If it detaches from the main sentence, it cannot express its meaning. If it fails, they will not go. If it fails, this is incomplete sentence. It cannot bear any full meaning. Full meaning of the sentence. What is reason? Which is called subordinate clause or dependent clause? How many types of subordinate clause? There are different types of subordinate or dependent clause. How many types? Three. Three types. There are three types of or kinds of subordinate clause. Thank you. What are the kinds? Yes, sir. Mention the name. Sister. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, I have got the answer. কথা কই না কাই সময় দেন না বেশি আর এই যে পরে সাথে তো করতে চলে আসছে বা না আর না এই দোহা কথা শুনছ Three types of subordinate clause. First one, noun clause or nominal clause. Second, adjective clause or verb clause. And third, adverbial clause. Yes, sir. Okay. What is noun clause? Do you know? What is noun clause? No sir. Okay, the noun clause does the work of a noun. 
in a sentence it does the work of a noun in a sentence for this reason it is called noun clause look at the board I know that he is honest. I know that he is honest. In his last sentence, there are two clause. I know that he is honest. I know this is principal clause, and the other part, the other clause that he is honest. But as a noun in this sentence, what is reason? is called noun or nominal clause clear clear yes okay. sir yes sir and clause or any clause the clause yes sir it not say of noun clause or nominal clause it works as an adjective in the sentence it works as an adjective It is the boy who is to fast. It is the boy who is to fast. It is the boy, principal clause, who is to fast, clause, and it works as an adjective in the sentence. What is written? Called adjective clause. Who? Who makes the relationship between the two parts of the sentence? Or the children? It called it clause. It makes relation with the other parts of the sentence. Or the children? It is called it clause. And it works as an adjective. And for the children, it is called an adjective clause. Okay. The third name adverbial clause. The clause which work as an adverb. For this reason, it is called an adverbial clause. Stay here until I come. Stay here until I come. Stay here. This is principal clause. Until I come. This power in the clause what what as an adverb. Yes, sir. For this reason, it is called adverbial clause. Okay. Yes, sir. Our principal clause, our clause, and the third clause, coordinate clause. What is coordinate clause? When two clauses of same nature are joined by a coordinate conjunction, it is called. Coordinate clause. What is the meaning of same nature? Can you tell me? Yes, sir. The two clause of same nature. What do you mean by same nature? Yes, sir. Okay. Same nature means the first clause is principal clause. 
the another clause must be principal clause if the first clause is subordinate clause the another clause should be subordinate clause this is called same nature <coughs> the clause of same nature are joined by a coordinating coordinate conjunction this is called coordinate clause example <laughs> I will go home and take bath. And this co-ordinating conjunction. Ki karo. And this co-ordinating conjunction. Two clothes of the nature are joined by a or coordinating conjunction which is called coordinating coordinate clause okay this sir sir assalam alaikum May fifteen September of is close. This is your homework. Sir, how will you present the homework? Sorry? Sir, how will you present the homework? You should make 15 sentences of three types of clothes. Sir, but how will we give, show you the homework, sir? The next class, you can show the homework. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Stay home and stay safe. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum assalam.